Hi everyone, this is Jerome and today I'm here to show you a pretty neat game called Parade which is uh, a deck, a card deck uh, game where the theme doesn't really matter but it's about a parade in uh, uh, Wonderland that everybody prepares for it etc 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 something that is really uh, meaningless uh, in this game but it doesn't really matter, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun um, this game plays from two to six players, eight, eight, eight years old and up, and it takes about 45 minutes, it's at least according to what's on the box, but uh, we've managed to play it uh, in under 45 minutes, and uh, I played it with two, three, and four players, and it plays well, um, it scales well um, at any number of players, in, in my opinion. Um, what I have it at the moment, I have it set up for two players, where each player starts with five cards, and at, in the middle of the uh, table, you play six cards and the deck is right here. The goal of the game is to score the least amount of points at the end of the game. And I'll show you obviously exactly how. The game is over once, everybody, once a player collects at least one card of each color. Oops, almost had a disaster by a cat here. Like I said, the game is over um, under two circumstances. Um, as soon as one player um, collects at least one of each of the six colors of, of suits that there are, or the deck is exhausted. One, uh, once uh, one of these conditions uh, has been met, everybody gets one more turn, including that player that triggered the end of the game. So, in this game, you add cards at the end of your turn to your tableau where you set up in front of you. These, these cards that you hold are in your hand and they're hidden. Um, and nobody obviously can see them, but for the sake of explaining the game, I have revealed it. So, in the middle of the table, as you can see, there's like numbers, there's colors, there's uh, from 1 to 10 in 6 colors, like I said. On your turn, you pick up a card, one card from your hand, and you place it at the end of the line. At the end of the line. And then you would take or you wouldn't take and add to your tableau uh, some cards that could as a result. Now, the way that this works, if I take for example, let's say, let's just start with this guy for the sake of the example, that would be better. I will take um, number five blue and I'll add it to the end of the line. Since it's number five, the number is five, I will count five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Beyond that, any card that is the same color, which in this case is blue, or has the same value of that card and less or less, is being taken and added to my tableau. Now obviously, um, or maybe not obvious uh, yet, but you would want to try and get the least number of cards or get certain majorities that can help you. depends on, on how the game turns out. And uh, I'll explain exactly. Uh, how that works in just a second. So in this case, this player has placed a five blue, counts one, two, three, four, five. He takes any cards that are below five or equal to five, and any cards that are blue, which in this case, this card actually um, matches both of these criteria. He places the card there, replenishes to five, and now it's the next person's uh, turn. And let's see what I'm gonna do. The best way to explain the game is just by playing it. It's a, it's a quick to understand. Let's say for sake of explanation, I will put down one yellow. So I will count one, and then any card beyond that that is yellow or one, or less than one. There are some cards with the value of zero actually, will be taken. Which in this case nothing happens. Now next player goes again. As you can see, it could be that the deck will actually, the, the uh, layup uh, of cards on the table will grow. Um, let's, for sake of explanation, I will put zero blue. I think the camera can still see that. Zero. Since there's a zero, I will start counting cards to either take or not from the following card. And in this case, I will take a blue. I will take a seven. And that's it. Now, on your tableau here, you set cards based on their color, just like that. So over the course of the game, you will end up with cards. Let's just take card. Let's just skip uh, something like that. The order of the cards in each suit doesn't matter. All right, so let's imagine that this is the case here. 
I'll just play some cards. Uh, there's black, there are six, six suits. Let's just add these, these, and let's say that's it. Now, once the game um, and triggers, which like I said, either the deck is exhausted or one player has collected at least one card of each suit, which you can aim for doing that strategically, I guess, during the game that has been done. I have done that before. Now we, we move to the scoring phase. Now the way that this works, we first compare majorities. Whomever has a certain numbers of cards of one suit, um, if he has more than the other players, um, he will consider to have the majority and he will score differently. However, in a two-player game, in order to gain the majority, you have to have at least two cards more than the other player. Um, so in this case, if you go black, I have only one more than the other person. This is not considered majority. Red, we both have the same. This is not considered majority. Let's just consider, now I, I moved for the sake of explanation. Blue here, this player has two more than this guy, then he's considered having a majority. Um, purple, this player has two more cards than this guy, since this guy does not have any purple, considered majority. As you can see, when there's a majority, we flip the cards, it will make sense in just a moment. Yellow cards, this guy has majority, since the other guy doesn't have a card, and I have at least two more than him. And green, this guy has more. Now, scoring works. By the way, is that majority cards you gain one point per card that is flipped basically. Any other cards you add up the values. So in this case, this player will have 6, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This player will have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in this case, coincidentally, they got. Uh, they both um, um, earn the same uh, um, uh, number of points, which is probably a tiebreaker, but I haven't got into that, so I'm not going to look into the rules uh, into that. But basically, whomever ends up with the least number of points wins the game. This is such a fun game. It is on my top 10, uh, which I should come up with uh, <laughs> sometime soon. Um, and that's it. Really neat game, fun game, relatively plays quick. Anybody can get to it, even my 8-year-old son played and enjoyed this gay and game tremendously. Hope uh, this helped you. Remember sharing is caring and if you enjoyed it please like it. Thank you.